At mass shootings around the nation, WDHN wanted to know how our local authorities deal and prepare for such a situation. Brantley Weatherford spoke with DPD and is live with more. What did you find out, Brantley? Well, I learned that DPD does a lot of specialized high intense training for instances that do involve a shooter. Even before the mass shootings the country has seen in the past weeks, the Dothan Police Department has been training in case a similar situation was to happen in the Wiregrass. Once a year, uh, we bring all of our people in and we do some form of active shooter, active killer training, uh, and it's evolved. Uh, we went from the, the, basic, uh, the basic principles that are taught, standardized nationwide for law enforcement, uh, to a point where we actually uh, learn to provide medical care during the actual event. In the event of a shooting, residents would likely alert dispatchers who would then contact patrolmen. Mock says that the communication chain would result in rapid response. He says that's the number one goal in shooting, to stop the shooter and prevent any deaths. We have something called the priority of life. And uh, on the, the first one on that list is the innocent people that are involved, whether it be the actual victims or witnesses to the crime or third parties that are just caught in the, caught in the process of the crime. Uh, that's our number one priority. According to Mott, the best way for officers to prepare is to undergo high-stress training. If you learn to, to, to operate your weapon or to, uh, to control yourself in a stressful situation, uh, if you can do it in training, under a stressful situation in training, uh, then obviously you're more likely to do it well uh, during an event. And Mock told me they even have live fire simulation rounds where they use paint pellets to drill their officers so they'll be better prepared for intense situations.